what's going on everybody and welcome to 39th HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our HTML page which we have been building from past couple of tutorials so let's take a look what we have done so far so we have created a header with a divide logo and divide advertisement and cleared the floats we had applied to these two elements and now we have got our header as complete intact so now the next thing we want to have is the navigation and if you want your navigation to be um, inside this header inside this limited width you can do so but if you want it to be full width you can do that as well but for now I'll just like to have a box model of the page and I'll just go ahead and write navigation inside the header only so I'll go ahead with dividing navigation and close the div one and one thing I should tell you that in HTML5 we have got certain more tags which basically specify the meaning of everything we have got header we have also got nav we have got menu we have got article we have got um, section and many more tags so all these tags all these tags written here are block level and would just act like just you are using a div one so they would they are just as kind of specifying a little bit more information what they are doing so you can use article for articles navigation for navigation like instead of divide navigation I could make use of nav ID navigation so that it would make much more sense but for now I'll just go ahead with div ones because it's kind of traditional so I'll go ahead and type ul and would create some list items inside this so I'll just say home about about us contact contact us and advertise with us okay so now let's reload this page and we have got this navigation with us and this navigation looks awful right now because we have got these tacky bullets everything in a separate line and no backgrounds and colors so let's see how we can spice this up a little bit so for that let's go ahead and select li in our CSS selector and I'll go ahead with navigation li this time because we could have a lot of allies and I don't want to style every ally on the page as the navigation ones are being styled so I'll just select navigation every ally which is inside navigation okay so now first of all I would like to remove uh, every bullet and I do that with list style property and list style none specifies that there should be no bullet so you could actually specify the list style as square as circle and as disk so disk is normal circle you see the changes here keep an eye on the web page as well because everything in chrome the tools is dynamic so I, when I type square the bullets change to square so I'll just go ahead with none right now because we don't want any bullets let's paste this in the style sheet and now as you expected we would float each of these as well so now we have got a problem this line is uh, basically on the navigation items and you know now that why it is on the navigation items because the last ally also says that float left to me and then this parent float left and then this div is not included so the possible fix for this is using div class clear here so now when I reload this we have got this problem fixed and now let's give this navigation a little bit shades background of let's say black or not black I'll just go ahead with a little red or maroon maybe and some sort of color as white padding as 10 pixels font family should be Calibri because default font is worse and I'll just set a default font for whole body actually so that it's inherited by everyone every member if it doesn't have any font specified 
and let's just not give the padding to the navigation I'll tell you the reason because we could do some more cool effects if we give padding to our ally and here we go okay so we have got this navigation ready as well and each of these navigations is a separate navigation within itself so let's say let's add some uh, pseudo selectors on it so I want whenever my ally is hovered the background should change to a little red and we'll just select this color so now you see that each of this background is changed to red but we could actually customize this uh, a little bit so this one looks great so I'll just go ahead with this one and I'll just copy this and this is our first pseudo selector in this code and I want this to appear as a cursor with a link just like it oops I just by default by mistake open the notepad plus plus and I want this to uh, be a cursor and for that what I can do is I would make use of cursor property and I would set it to pointer and when I reload this then we have got a cursor instead of normal text and arrow so now this looks much realistic now and I'll just remove the border for now because this is not required actually and I'll reload this so we have got header and navigation ready now and that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial uh, maybe we would be developing a navigation with a drop down or so so till then stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching